Hi there. So today I'll be reviewing the Augustine Classic Black Low Tension Guitar Strings. Now these are the original nylon strings that were developed in 1948 with the help of Andre Segovia, which is why his image is on the back. Now these strings come in little white paper sleeves which are labeled with each individual string and that helps avoid any confusion when restringing. So prior to 1948 all classical guitar strings were made of gut and the bases were made of silk wrapped around with steel. So what happened in the 40s? World War II and Andre Segovia found himself over in South America and he had a hard time getting his strings which came from Germany which as you know at the time was Nazi controlled. So they tried to find new ways of getting different materials to make strings and they settled on DuPont's new material, nylon. Now nylon at the time was a very innovative material. It wasn't a cheap material either. If your grandparents might have told you some stories about World War II, you would have heard that uh, nylon stockings were popular back then and they were quite expensive. So nylon was not necessarily a cheap or widely available material, but they settled on it because it had similar properties and sound to the gut strings. And for the basses, they settled on nylon thread which was wrapped around with silver because Segovia said it had the most noble sound. Now these are a very widely available string. You see them in almost every guitar shop. They're great for beginners and they have a great nice sound. They're easy to string up and I'm gonna give you a quick sound test in a minute to see how they sound but I want to quickly go over a couple of points here. So the appearance. The appearance is just the standard classic clear treble and classic steel colored bases. Now next I'm going to go on to the feel. So these strings are low tension and I usually play high tension strings so that was something to get used to at first but you can bar things very easily and you don't have to apply as much pressure as you would on high tension strings which is why I think that this would be a great option for beginners who may not have developed that that strength yet in their hands to bar chords or really to press down chords at all. So it's a lot easier to depress a chord with low tension than it would be for high tension. The downside to that is that if you pluck a little aggressively, you end up sounding like you're playing slap bass. <laughs> so it's not very elegant if you play too hard. So if you're a hard player, these may not be the strings for you. And that would just be because of the tension. They do produce an exquisite vibrato though. If you listen to the vibrato in, in both the trebles and the basses, it's just an exquisite sound. And that's that sound that Segovia was known for. And it's not difficult to produce that vibrato at even a high pitch on the lower part of the neck. It's, it's very simple. And sometimes on higher tension strings, I've noticed that that can be difficult. So. That's really all I have to say about the appearance and about the feel. Let's get into the sound test and you guys can judge for yourself what you think.
Thank you for joining me.